Right, let's talk about art now. I like to talk about art. Yeah, a bit of culture. Uh, my mother retired a few years ago, and she's now um, painting in her retirement. This is one of my mother's paintings. Isn't that glorious? This is of our family friend Patrick. Not only does it look like Patrick, I feel like it captures his essence. It's a beautiful painting. Based on these, I've been inspired to do my own. They've not come out as well, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I did one of Amanda Holden with a Britain's Got Talent buzzer for a head. Slightly different things that we do. <laughs> Mum will do this sort of thing, two women on a bench having a conversation, beautiful, skillful watercolour there, the skill and the time it takes to do something like that. I did a man having coffee poured in his ass. we're just doing different things. <laughs> we're doing different things. This came out, I was on holiday with a friend of mine who just had a colonic irrigation. I've never had one, so I was like, what's it like? He's like, I've not had one either. This girl, quite attractive, took me into a room, put a tube up, I thought the tube did everything, but actually she took it out, stood me over this thing and then just said, go! And she said, I can wait here, I can wait outside, whatever you want. I was like, who's asking her to stay? Stay! <laughs> no! Look me in the eye! <laughs> I'd like us to share this! <laughs> so based on that, I did this painting. I haven't got a name for it yet. I was thinking maybe Britain in springtime, but I'm open to suggestions. Do <laughs> send your tweets in. This uh, art thing has got to a bit of a head just this week, actually. Um, Mum and I, we submitted to the Royal Academy. Every year, the Royal Academy take paintings from amateurs, from professionals, whatever. They also take sculptures. Mum submitted two of her paintings, beautiful paintings. I submitted for a laugh. I knew I wasn't going to get in. I submitted this sculpture, which I called Chris, and made it pissed last summer. I just submitted it, forgot about it. A few weeks later, I got an email from the Royal Academy that read this. Dear Joe, it's come to our attention that the price of your artwork, Chris, is ten and a half million pounds. <laughs> I was originally going to do ten and I thought, fuck it, put the other half on. <laughs> Owing to the highest selling price, we just wanted to check this was correct and this is what we would like to have printed in our list of works should your work be selected for the exhibition. If you did wish for this to be the published price, could you kindly advise on the insurance value of the work? Well, I went back to them and I said, gosh, did I really put ten and a half million pounds? It should be twelve and a half million pounds. <laughs> and then just put Brexit for no reason. <laughs> I recently took it to Bonhams to get it valued. They asked me to leave, but I expect the insurance value is four ninety nine or the equivalent in Argos vouchers. <laughs> didn't receive a reply, didn't expect a reply, to be honest, and thought, right, that's, you know, it's not going to get in. Suddenly, we both get emails. Mum's paintings rejected. Chris is in. I go, <laughs> go to the Royal Academy. I went there on Monday. There I am outside, very excited. All the other sculptures are on plinths. I'm like, bloody hell, Chris is going to be on a plinth in the Royal Academy. The Royal Academy! Walking around, can't find him anywhere. They've only put him in the fucking corner, haven't they? <laughs> he is available to purchase for £12.5 million. <laughs> I will not accept offers. <laughs>